Hi, I am Xander. I am the guy who made a long long time ago the little software video time reversal. I'm French so please forgive my poor English. I hope this will be okay for this little uh, how to video. Well, I will show you the new video time reversal and uh, how to use it to reverse your videos. As an example, um, I've got a video, video where I destroy a post-it. Here it is. Um, this is an HD video, 720 pixel high, and this is a Windows Media video. Just see how to reverse it. There are two main steps for this. First of all, you need to convert your video into a file format that is supported by Video Time Reversal. For that, I use Prism Video Converter. You'll find the, you will find the link to download Prism, Prism Converter on my website or on the description of this YouTube video. To convert the video, open Prism and drag your video on the software. Then, and this is the most important thing, you have to choose the correct output format. You must choose a .avi output format. And you must choose the correct encoder option. The best choice of the decoder, of the encoder, depends on your ori original video. If you are working with NTSC video, 720 pixel large, 480 pixel height, I think the best choice is DV NTSC format. If you work with an original video in PAL format, 720 pixel large and 576 pixel height, the best choice is DV PAL encoder. But if you work with HD video or with any other format, I think the best choice is MJPEG compressor. Why? In DV format, Prince Converter will force the output size of the video, so it will shrink or enlarge your video and add some black bands. If the original video has not the required image size, that's a pity. MJPEG encoder format will not. The main drawbacks of MJPEG format is that the converted file is huge, and if your computer is too slow, you may have some problems to play the converted video or the, or the reversed video fluently. We'll see that further. So when you have choose the correct output format, just click the convert button and wait that with converter transform your video. Okay, the conversion is now quite finished. That's it. Uh, and now we can close Prince Converter. The second step is to use Video Time Reversal. So open it. To reverse the converted video, you have to click on the Choose File to Convert button. Choose the file we just have generated with Prince Converter. You have here the summary of the video, frame size, frame per second, total number of frames, and the sound uh, format. A new feature of video time reversal is to uh, deal with the soundtrack. You can keep the original soundtrack. This is okay when you have some music, for example. Or you can choose to reverse the sound. It gives some special effects and the results depend a lot of the original soundtrack. Or you can choose to remove the sound and then to add some music in your video montage software. Here 
and we choose to reverse the sound to see what, what is the result. Then you just have to click on the reverse the video button and wait and choose sorry and choose where to store the result. And now you just have to wait that video time reversal reverse your video. Okay, the process for the image is quite finished. Then the sound, okay, all of the process is uh, is finished, and we have now our reverse video. Just play it to check the result. Note that if your video is big, and if you choose MGPEG format, and if your computer is not fast enough, you may you may have some problems to play the video fluently. This is not a problem. Don't panic. Is, it is just a computer power problem. Just import your video into your final project, as I did for this tutorial, and you will see that the result is ok. Or you can reconvert the reversed video into a Windows Media video using Windows Movie Maker or Prince Converter. Ok, so now it's your turn. I saw a lot of great video on YouTube showing reverse effect. And I think you are much better than me to have great ideas. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy the software. Of course, it is not perfect. It would be better to directly work on win Windows Media Video, for example. Maybe one day. So just have fun with the software. And if you have some questions or remarks, please ask me on my forum or on the YouTube page of the video. Have fun. Goodbye.